the musculocutaneous nerve. The musculocutaneous nerve means it supplies muscle and it has a cutaneous branch. Muscle, that is the biceps. Cutaneous, it supplies a skin sensation to the lateral half of the forearm. How do I remember that? The musculocutaneous nerve arises from the lateral cord. It supplies the lateral half of the forearm sensation. So it supplies muscles of the anterior compartment of the arm and it supplies sensation to the lateral half of the forearm. The musculocutaneous nerve is the distal contribution of the lateral cord of the brachial plexus, predominantly arise from C5, C6, with some contribution from C7. As shown in the graph, the musculocutaneous nerve is the distal continuation of the lateral cord. It contains fibers from the upper trunk. It lies lateral to the axillary artery and it starts at the lower border of the pectoralis minor. In the axilla, the nerve travels distally and laterally to pierce the cracobrachialis muscle, approximately 3 to 8 cm distal to the tip of the cracoid. The nerve innervates the cracobrachialis muscle. After passing through and deep to this muscle, the nerve continues distally, superficial to the brachialis, and deep to the lateral border of the biceps. It supplies these two muscles. Basically, that nerve supplies the anterior muscles of the arm. Note that the brachialis muscle is supplied by two nerves, the musculocutaneous and the radial nerve. Around the elbow region, it pierces the superficial fascia lateral to the biceps tendon, and the nerve terminates as the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve, which supplies the lateral half of the forearm. Function of the nerve, it flexes the elbow and it spinates the forearm when the elbow is flexed. Musculocutaneous nerve palsy. You will find weakness of the elbow flexion, weak forearm subordination, and numbness in the anterolateral forearm. Numbness in the anterolateral forearm stops at the wrist. Differential diagnosis. Rupture of the distal biceps tendon that can be diagnosed by an MRI or clinically by the Hock test. C6 radiculopathy, the patient will complain of radicular pain and numbness in the thumb and index finger. Other muscles of C6 will be affected. The lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve. This nerve can be injured from venipuncture in the cubital fossa. It can also be injured during repair of a distal biceps tendon rupture. This nerve must be visualized and retracted to avoid its injury. If you can find the nerve during repair of distal biceps tendon rupture, then try to find it proximally underneath the biceps and in front of the brachialis and track the nerve distally to find its location. Find the nerve, retract it, and avoid injury to that nerve.